All right, so thank you everybody for joining us tonight. My name is Danielle Fowler. I'm the Vice President of the Cashmere Goat Association, and I'm also a Litchfield County Goat 4-H mom. So I'm really excited to have both CGA and some 4-Hers join us today. I ask that any 4-Hers that are on, if you can just add 4-H to your uh, Zoom name so that we can identify 4-Hers for the questions. Um, I just wanna give a quick intro to Dr. Pahala before he gets started. Uh, Dr. Puhala is a research scientist with the American Institute for Goat Research at Langston University in Langston, Oklahoma. He has a PhD in animal physiology. His, he has several areas of interest um, for his research. He focuses on the effect of animal production on greenhouse gas production, factors affecting greenhouse gas production and energy loss, as well as mitigation of greenhouse gas emissions from farm animals. He researches genomic resilience of goats and internal parasites, factors affecting resilience of small ruminants to internal parasites, as well as unconventional methods to reduce internal parasite burden. Adaption of farm animals to climactic stressors, including heat, shortage of food and water, brackish or low quality water, and genomic factors facilitating this adaptation. Behavior factors affecting production and ruminants, sustainable architecture, as well as genomics uh, and physical performance. So if I could please ask everyone to mute your microphone. And at this point, I will stop sharing my screen and um, hand it over to Dr. Pahala. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for the introduction. So uh, before we start uh, with a presentation of our uh, revised uh, motion calculator, I would like to give a, a small introduction concerning the uh, uh, goat digestive tract and uh, the few items that we will we'll be using while reviewing the calculator. So what is the uh, most important thing for the for for goat and all the ruminants that they have four compartment stomach, actually the first stomach, and there is a, a real stomach that have uh, acidic content. So uh, rumen is the most important part, rumen and vaporum, uh, important part that uh, animal is able to digest forages uh, that other species cannot do it. And uh, uh, Rumen uh, is occupied by uh, uh, microbes that actually help digestion and I just digest the rubbish and forage. And uh, then uh, the digesta uh, passes to epomassum and then to small intestine, large intestine, and the sciences are uh, Here are uh, volumes of, of each compartment of the stomach. Uh, reticulum is about, uh, as you can see, 1.5 uh, to 2 quarts. Rumen is uh, big, uh, from 5 to 10 gallons. Then we have abomasum, uh, 5.5 uh, to 1 quart. Then we have abomasum, that is actually true stomach, uh, 2 to 3 gallons. Uh, small intestine is 2 to 2.5 gallons, about 80 feet long. And large intestine is 1.5 to 2 quarts. Uh, Reticulum, so of course, like in other, other animals, uh, the, the, the food is taken up by the mouth because of asparagus and then reticulum. And the reticulum works together with the rumen, uh, uh, mixing the feed, <coughs> sends feed to the rumen, sends feed to mouth for rumination, move digestion to muscle, and remove gas via mouth. Uh, as I previously mentioned, uh, rumen has millions uh, of microorganisms, protozoa, fungi, and bacteria. Uh, those uh, uh, microorganisms help break down the feed, and the pH in a rumen is from 5.5 to 7.2, depending on the uh, type of uh, feed the animal is using, temperature from 104 to 107. And 
uh, microbes produce a lot of uh, volatile fatty acid, BFA, that are also a source of uh, uh, energy for them as well for host. Uh, Ebamassum is relatively small and uh, what occurs there is absorption of water, electrolytes, uh, BFA, volatile fatty acid, and mineral. So Ibomasum, as I mentioned, is a true stomach, uh, is similar function to human stomach, and uh, because of the gastric acids, uh, the pH is about two, and like in other, like in human enzyme and acid breakdown, heat for body digestion absorption in a small intestine. So small intestine is the main uh, part that uh, absorb all the nutrients uh, in form of amino acid, fatty acid, and sugar. And uh, all those uh, nutrients absorb uh, to, to, to the to the go to the to the blood and link, and some of them use uh, immediately, and some of them they store in the liver. In large intestine, uh, there is absorption of water, mineral, ammonia, vitamins, and after that, all undigested feed is excreted in a feces. Uh, rumen uh, is very small in sucking kids, lumps, and develops as uh, exposure to forage, roughage. And milk goes, goes directly, as you can see in this picture, in young animals, the rumen is much smaller even than abomasum and develops as the age progresses. So as, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the, uh, because of the microbes, the uh, uh, animal like goat and sheep and cattle can uh, utilize forage. In a process of uh, digesting the forage, methane grass is produced and we're doing quite a bit of work concerning the mitigation of methane gas. And now let's, let's uh, move on to uh, energy flow and some of those uh, parameters we will use in calculator. So uh, feed when it's given to animals, that's a gross energy. And when we subtract fecal energy, then we have digestible energy. And what is lost in the urine as a methane gas is metabolism of energy. And that energy, metal, 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 metabolism of energy on ME, we'll use in our calculator. And the, this ME is used for maintenance, for just living and uh, you know, uh, get general uh, a requirement for energy for animals, and the rest will go into production. And here is the split uh, of the of the energy, so gross energy, even if it is hundred percent, and fecal energy can be from forty to fifty. It will be graphics on maybe twenty to thirty percent. It will be a bit uh, concentrate or easily digestible uh, feed. Then. Uh, we have digestible energy loss in urine from gross energy is about four to five percent, and methane gas can be six to ten percent. So that's sizable loss of energy that can be otherwise utilized. Therefore, mitigation uh, is a uh, good uh, for uh, to extend or expand am amount of energy that can be used by the animal. And then, as I said, we will be using ME, metabolism of energy, in our calculation of nutrient requirement for time. So again, uh, metabolism of energy is digestible minus urine and methane, and uh, the, the uh, ME is used for maintenance, metabolism activity of the animals, and the rest goes into production, gain, lactation, pregnancy, or producing fiber. Uh, in the US, we are using TDN, total digestible nutrients, and total that, that digestible nutrients is the protein in the feed, carbohydrates in the feed, 
plus PAD times 225, since energetic value of PAD is much higher than other components, protein and carbohydrate. And we can easily convert this, and we will be using that in our calculator. We'll be converting uh, basically TDN to ME, and here you have the conversion factor. Protein. Uh, so as, as, as I mentioned already, uh, we have protein that, that are digestible in the, in the, in the stomach and for digestible intake protein or and uh, those are e is easily digested in the rumen and they are available for microbes in the room. However, microbes uh, cause decrease in uh, essential amino acids. Therefore, too much of digestible intake protein is not really beneficial for ruminants. And we have other undegradable intake protein, uh, UIP, uh, which are also called bypass protein. They are not digested by the microbes in the rumen, but they are digested in abomasum and small intestine. And their uh, value is, in many cases, much higher than those of uh, microbial protein. So basically, uh, digestible or degradable intake protein and converted to microbes and digestible go down the uh, digested either in a small intestine and their value is much higher than uh, degradable intake protein or uh, microbial protein. Uh, here we have a, a protein flow. So uh, we get it, uh, animals get it protein and ruminants are also able uh, non-protein nitrogen and uh, in quite a few countries uh, urea is given uh, as the non-protein nitrogen and in the rumen protein are digested uh, this part will is actually uh, digestible intake protein are uh, digested to peptides then further down to uh, amino acids and converted to microbial protein. Also, uh, non-protein nitrogen are digested to ammonia and can be incorporated into microbial protein. Also, there is recycling of the, of the urea uh, via saliva. And this, when it goes to the, to the, to the rumen, it can be digested, it can be converted into microbial protein. Then uh, uh, microbial protein goes down to abomasum and intestine and digested uh, to amino acid and goes to the liver part that is used up as a nitrogen, uh, as an energy source is converted to ammonia, then to urea, and most of it is excreted in the urine and small part is recirculated back to the rest. And of course, amino acids that are taken up by blood to tissues are used for production. And the rest of the protein, undigested protein, is excreted with the tissue. And here are the two terms, uh, digestible intake protein, which are digested in the, within the rumen, and undigestible intake protein, which are digested in abomasum and intestine, and we will be using that in our calculators. Uh, and this will be the part that uh, uh, those terms uh, I want you to remember when we actually uh, go to the uh, uh, reviewing of our somehow. Uh, and uh, we're gonna. Okay, I'll be sharing my screen again, I guess. Okay. Can you see my screen now? I think you do. Uh, right? Not yet. Oh, now it's coming. Okay. So, yes, we can uh, see it now. Okay. Now, what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, okay. 
So uh, the the uh, original uh, Lanson calculator, Newton calculator for dogs, was developed like 20 years ago, and from that uh, time, many things changed. So, so we decided to upgrade that that uh, calculator, uh, overhaul it, and also uh, put on dedicated website. So, uh, Dr. Puhala. Yes. We can just see your Google screen. Is it supposed to be the calculator yet? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, okay just so checking. Thank you. And a part of the my small note on the other side, right? That would be what you can see, right? So you, you see two, two windows. One is the empty Google thing, and the other one is my notes, right? We we just see the Google. Okay, okay. Google is good. Okay, so probably. But you see like on home screen or part of the screen? Just the Google home screen. Okay, but the on whole your screen? Yes, right? Okay, so that, that's good then. Okay, so uh, we have dedicated website for a uh, Nutrien calculator and this website is kind of independent from Langston because there's quite a few changes going on. So the website is HTTP. Uh, semicolon, uh, this is slash, right? Four, four zero, uh, dot six five dot one one two dot one forty one. So that's one way of accessing the calculator. And now you can see Langston Interactive Building calculator, uh, calculator, the uh, main screen, right? Main page. Yeah, about this. Yep. Right? Okay, I have 14. Okay, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. So, yeah, last looking calculator is at uh, HTTP semicolon slash slash 40.65.112.141. That's the one way of accessing it. We will try to also, we have a link from our page, Langston Research extension.edu and we try to access it. So if we access in this way, this is Langston research extension.edu and under training, nutrient calculators, we have link to only part of the calculator that is on the other website. So let me go back to that dedicated website that we have for this calculator. So what you see here is also some supporting materials. We have a library, we have nutrient requirement calculators, and let's see what we have within library. So we have technical bulletins, and pretty much you will find everything concerning uh, small ruminants nutrition management. We have about 48 different uh, publications here, and you can easily access them if you go to 40, 65, 112, 141. Also, we have some handbooks, about 15, 13 of them, and we have also videos on gone nutrition, on parasites, on dewormers and dewormer resistance, artificial inter insemination and body condition scoring in dogs. So that part, if you access it from our, our website, from Langston Research Extension, you won't be able to see. Okay, and the next part, library is the one part of it, supporting materials. Then we have nutrient requirement calculators. And within those we have two. We have professional version and we have producer version. Today we will be reviewing professional version. And we try to make this as easy as possible, as accessible as po uh, possible. And we provided explanation on every page. So this is basically uh, the, our calculator open in 
web in a browser and in several tabs as we experience later on. So within within professional calculator or calculator, we have two tools to for diet formulation. One is uh, estimated supplement uh, concentrate uh, need, and the other, other one is total mixed ration calculator. So most of the goats are, goats are small ruminants, are uh, basically using a pasture for most of the uh, most of the time, or maybe uh, you know uh, several months within a year. So therefore, it is important to see if we really need to use concentrate to support the production that we want to achieve. They will be using forage, roughage, and then we want to calculate whether, whether we will need to supplement the diet with uh, some concentrate. And the other calculator is total mixed ration, which is basically uh, based on least cost. So therefore, it does the same, but it will uh, it will calculate a diet uh, using the least cost. Of course, there are several uh, things that we can interchange or change uh, in that in that calculation, and we will talk about that later. So also we have individual calculators for energy, protein, energy and protein, energy adjustment, feed intake, and the section for calcium and phosphorus. So those, all those individual calculators are supporting our main tools for diet formulation. So they are used within those two calculators. Okay, so let's see what we can do with uh, estimated supplementary concentrate need calculator. So that uh, also is everything is explained what this calculator is doing. So the calculator basically will tell us whether we will need supplement of uh, concentrate and how much we will need. And what we add also is uh, that is associated effect. So for example, if we keep very low uh, quality forage and supplemental and supplement with concentrate, we have experienced something what is called positive associated effect. So what, what the uh, 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 supplementation of concentrate will do will actually increase the amount of uh, forage that uh, is used in the diet. And of course, there will be negative effect. So if we feed good quality forage and supplement it with, with concentrate, we actually may get depression of uh, forage intake. So that's basically what, what that uh, calculator is doing. But the main part is that it tell us whether we will need to supplement the diet with uh, the concentrate. And here, this, the, the, this calculator uh, consists the feedstuff table. And what we have here, we have fruit protein in the diet. We have undergradable protein. And we have PDF. So we can use those values. If we don't know what our uh, forage or our concentrate value is, we can use those tables to support our calculator. So we have uh, about 100 bits that listed here. And here also explanation how our associated negative and positive associated effect is calculated. So basically, if we feed uh, 
porridge that is about 5% good protein, if we add a supplement of concentrate, we may get increase in porridge intake. On every page, we also have example. We have conversion. We have different converters, and here we have a converter from TDN to metabolic energy. And we have inputs that we have to put to calculate. And all those fields, they have to be filled up in order to calculate our supplemental concentration or whether the animal will eat. So we have to put the body weight, we have to put the average daily gain, then um, ME requirement, protein requirement, uh, then uh, feed intake calculator, then we have to provide the ME of concentrate, ME of supplement uh, of any sorry uh, yes any of uh, concentrate any of uh, any or TDN um, then we have CP fruit protein uh, in the forest group uh, protein concentrate and then UIP undigestible protein so those values are actually are we can change also but we assume that forage consists about 20% of undegradable intake protein and then 40% in concentrate. Of course, those values can be changed. And we have the supplemental tables up there. Uh, we, we basically, most of the animals will be on the pasture, but we put right here, we put 90% dry matter in the forage. So we actually assume that animals use, will be using pet. And then uh, concentrate also is 90% dry matter, which probably or very likely the concentrate uh, dry matter will be 90%. And then uh, further down, we're gonna discuss that later on, we have outputs. And of course, we can always print our results. So okay, so let's uh, let's see what we can do with this calculator. So let's let's do this. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to because I mean I very like I have the TDN value for my for my uh, for my feed and concentrate. So my TDN value uh, is for this. Uh, this, uh, this is actually the, uh, the data from our experiment here. So 70% was TDN for our concentrate and TDN for uh, our forage was 58. And if we hit convert, we have metabolic energy of 1118 megajoule per kilogram for the concentrate and 870 six megajoules per, per kilogram of our porch. And what you see here, those values that got inserted already here. So uh, any concentrate of porridge is 876 and concentrate is 1118. Okay, so in this experiment, that actually this uh, year experiment, we use growing animals. So we have few uh, classes of those growing, mature, lactating, and angora. And this is very important because the nutrient requirement for, for those classes are different. So we have to select the proper one. So we have growing animals and the body weight of those animals was about almost 20 kilos. And they, we want them to grow about 54 grams per day. Then we need to estimate uh, ME, metabolism of energy requirement. And for that, we will use the calculator. Okay. So we have another tab open. We have two tabs now open. 
And then again, we have to fill up all the fields. So, and we have to check if they are correct. So our goal was a mid goal, at least we at least 50% or, or more of board. So that's correct. And it was a weather, so female or wet, right? Then those values already transfer 20 and 54, 20 kilo and 54 grams. And also uh, dietary uh, metabolism of energy and meat concentration is also inserted here. Okay, we can adjust uh, those values, the requirement for energy using grazing factor calculator. And this basically what it does, it adds some energy while an animal is walking quite a bit for quite a few hours. Uh, and that of course is the energy expenditure. So we have to add uh, some energy for this activity. So let's see. So we have to also insert all the fields, let's say three, and then uh, that will be grazing, uh, enter grazing plus walking time in our strip. Maybe not this for sure will do, but let's say we do about five. And uh, then uh, enter di uh, diet quality as total vegetable nutrients contained in diet. So we use that 58. So again, it got transferred and then kilometers. So let's say six kilometers. And we have also identified the terrain. And for that, we have supplement here. So we can see the score of the, uh, of the different, uh, different uh, level of, of different, uh, uh, different grazing areas. And we have the picture and we have also explanation. So if we click on the, okay, it's too fast. So we can, we can change this and see description and how, the, how this factor will be affected. So we're just gonna say one here, go back and let's see, calculate. And then we have adjustment factor of 106. If the animal will be working for uh, five hours and will do six kilometers in a relatively flat area. Okay, we're not gonna use this, so we're gonna close that window. And as you see, the setup was closed. So we did not do any adjustment. We specified the meat goat, we specified that is weather. So now we can calculate energy requirement. And the, uh, the energy requirement uh, for those animals are for maintenance is 453 and for production 125, total uh, 578. So we're gonna close and we have this value already inserted here. Then we're gonna calculate metabolism protein. And for that, we will use appropriate calculator. So our biotype, biotype is meat goat, right? It's 20 kilo, it's 54 grams of, uh, of uh, growth. And with that, we have fit in the calculator. So based on maintenance energy only. This will predict, this will predict the uh, uh, feed intake. So let's see that will, the, will predict that animal will consume 0 0.64 gram of dry matter and 319% uh, 319 of body weight. So we're gonna close this. Let's see what the other calculator is. And this value is changeable. Of course, uh, it's very hard to predict dry matter intake, but we base this on energy needs and protein. So let's see what the other calculator that is actually uh, is adjusted for maintenance energy, okay? 
So what we have here, we can adjust for raising factor calculator, and we kind of look at it already, or acclimatization. So this basically try to optimize energy need for acclimatization to the temperature. So we're not gonna do anything here, but we can do that. And we can calculate. And as you see, uh, we have value and we can go back and we can calculate Okay, since we don't, did not do any adjustment, we're gonna maybe use based on maintenance. I will show you. So, okay, it was maintenance. It was basically the same because we didn't change anything. So, both calculators, we did change the same value. We have the same value. So, if we do adjustment here, or we can do adjustment, then we can increase or decrease. So, then we have this value over there, 3.19, and we're gonna calculate the protein requirements. So no, we come know. up with no, 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 no. microbial uh, or uh, MP no, 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 no. requirement of 20 grams for maintenance and for uh, for a grow, we have 2183. So total of 5085. Okay, so what we have, we have a growing goal, we have 20 kilo, we have 54 grams of average daily gain. We have 578 of uh, ME. We have 5085 of uh, MP. Uh, it intake 319. And of course, later on, we'll change that. We we'll see because those values can, we, we can change. And the uh, ME concentration that was already converted, we have 876 and 1118 in our concentrate. Then we have to input the value for CP and CP in a porridge, fruit protein in the porridge was nine. And then uh, in concentrate, it was 20.3. Okay, so once we have all those values inserted, all the things are filled up, we can calculate. Okay. So uh, what we have here, we didn't have any associative effect. So what's happened, the value of what we predicted in 19 of forage is right here. So it's the same, it did not change, okay? But what it shows that our animals are actually need Supplemental of uh, supplement of concentrate, 100 grams, right, or 0 0.021 uh, pounds. Okay. So total intake, it intake will be 362, right, to cover all the needs of the animal. So basically, what we have here is that the uh, uh, we need 100 grams of concentrate and Forage dry matter intake is 0.64 kilogram or 1.41 pound. Uh, and if we compare to our energy requirement, so that was met, metabolic, metabolic energy, uh, 559, and our requirement was 553, and then MP, Total MP, metabolic protein, uh, we have 50, 85, which was met exact. Right? So, okay. So let's see how this compared. And I don't know if I can share. So, okay, what our, this is the, the base, uh, this is uh, from our experiment. And we have 16 animals in this experiment. And uh, our animals, of course, uh, this is the experiment with measuring the methane production. So we've given 100 grams of pellet as a supplement 
in order to measure the methane and heat production. And those animals add 635 grams, 36 grams of, uh, of uh, pot. So as you see, in that case, our prediction is quite accurate because we got uh, we got exactly, or the values are very similar. Here, the dry matter, dry matter from the porridge, dry matter from the porridge uh, is 640 grams and animal at 636 grams plus 100 grams of fat. Okay. Uh, the uh, Concerning the, the, the requirement, and let, let, let's go to uh, our ME calculator again and calculate that again. So, okay, so also what we run or running on those animals, we're running the heat production. Heat, so we have heat production is basically what is used for maintenance of animals. So our average heat production on those animals was uh, 4.22 uh, megajoule per day. And what we have here is 4.28, right? So the rest was used for uh, growth. And in that case, it shows that our calculator was very accurate in predicting the nutrient requirement. Of course, this is based on our data as well on the uh, on the data of uh, NRC, where the data for goats of small ruminants was not available. Okay, and I don't know because okay, I have some questions. Let me check. Uh, of course, uh, for. Okay, so let me answer those questions. Um, okay. Uh, permission to use this uh, as my learning material in the teaching for my students. Of course, you're very welcome to use it. Uh, and uh, well, this is free from, from everybody, so you're very welcome to use it. I don't know if you want me to do another example or maybe we have discussion, so it's up to you. You want me to do, uh, because we just did one example or a supplemental, maybe I should use uh, our other calculator, which is a uh, uh, mixed ration, right? With the least cost. So, okay, let's do that, right? There is agreement? Okay, let me see. Sure. Because I, I cannot hear anybody. Uh, yeah, we, everyone's on mute. Uh, conversion <laughs> to pounds, okay. So the, so, okay, conversion to pounds, uh, you have in the output, you have everywhere conversion to pounds, right? In the output of this calculator, right? So, okay, but the, there is simply converter uh, for, let's say, body weight. Oh, okay, but here they just put it in pounds. So let's say 50 pounds conversion. Okay, what is that? You know, this is the. Ah, okay, no, that's for input here. So it changed. So it does automatically. So every, let's say, converter converts and put the values directly into it because we have 20, now we have 22.7, right? So, so that's the conversion work. But for your calculated diet, you have the values in both. You have in kilogram and you in pounds. That makes sense? So, you know, so the calculator actually has to support. If you don't know, if you have your, let's say, weight your animals in pounds and you want to predict uh, L, LB per day, uh, ADG in, in pounds per day, then for you translate that to calculator. So uh, for the reason for doing this in metric, because this will be used all over the world. And I, I did not mention that, that we also have, let's say, portable version of this system using a small uh, uh, Raspberry Pi computer that can be used when actually internet is not available. Okay, so let me see. I don't have any more questions. So let's do one uh, one uh, example of the of the uh, of the uh, um, total mix ration. Okay, so again we go to uh, to um, uh, 
uh, main tank, then we go to mixers. And uh, I guess I need to be brief. So we just, okay, in, in this case, we're gonna use growing goals and that brings up, again, we're gonna to do meat. And then we're gonna do 20, right? And then we're gonna do 54 grams. 54. Then uh, our value was 876, I guess. That's 76 and nine, right? Okay, and we can actually we can use the calculator in the, in the what is 54. Okay, uh, A was 58. CP was 9%. So, okay, so uh, we will be calculating uh, energy intake, ME, metabolic energy. And this does a little bit different. This thing actually said, tell you that all the values will be transferred. So we say, okay, because we want to transfer the meat, female, that's okay. We don't want me to go change the values that are already in there. And then we're not gonna do any adjustments. So we're just gonna do the calculate energy requirement. Then it tells you if you want to see the values, then you press cancel. So we're going to see the values and we have the values here, right? Then we have to push it again. This time we say, okay. And we go to next step, which is MP, metabolizable protein. So let's do that. Again, it says that the values will be put there. So it switch. And okay, what is also very important, if you wanna calculate, then make sure that the class of gold and biotype is correct, right? Meet daily endogenous, because the values, the, the uh, uh, requirements for those different, uh, different biotypes are different, okay? Uh, so then you have to use the proper, proper, uh, proper, uh, proper biotype. Okay, so then we're gonna use uh, maintenance uh, energy base, uh, uh, maintenance energy based on body weight only. And then we calculate that 318, close the window. And then we're gonna calculate our uh, protein requirement. And just for saving time, we're just gonna say, okay, we're not gonna look at those values, but they are exactly the same as we had before. And this also will allow you to calculate calcium and phosphate requirement. So we have to do that. And basically again, that the value will be uh, equal from the previous, right? And uh, we're not gonna, there are several things that we can change, but we're not gonna change. Again, we see that the, the biotype is correct, growing. And then what we will say, push calculate, it will explain to us whether we wanna adjust to the, the optimal uh, ratio of two to one. So we wanna do that. And then we say calculate, this time we say, so it calculates the, the, the uh, calcium and phosphorus requirement. Then we push this again. This time we say, okay, and okay. And next part is selecting the feed input. Okay. So again, we have all database here uh, and also, what we can do, we can contribute, or you can contribute your feed stuff here, right? So that's another uh, tab will open, and you can contribute uh, your feed stuff. Okay, and do it. Okay, so I already press selected. Whatever you will, if you use this calculator, you will have some values in the memory. We're gonna use all of them. Then we're gonna input those values. And then what we have to do, we have to say what the cost was and what we think the 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 uh, uh, the feed stuff should be in that diet, or what we actually think it should be. Okay. 
So I'm going to quickly, quickly put those values here. So we will say that we want hot grain about 20 percent and it cost maybe those costs although it now for sure increase we're gonna put six cents then we have peanut meal we're not gonna do anything and the peanut meal cost us nine cents then we have sorghum grain uh, and we're not gonna put anything and we're gonna do that it costs five cents then we have soybean we're gonna do nine percent and it cost us 13 cents and grass, uh, we're going to put 70 and it will cost us three cents. Uh, peanut falls uh, zero and two cents. Then decalcium phosphate, we put 25 and 20 cents. Then limestone, 0.2 and three cents. Then we're going to do as mineral, 0.5 and 20. And vitamins, we're going to put 0, 5 and 20. Okay, so this is what we kind of think that diet should consist. And let's see, uh, here just checking, verifying that all the values are correct. So ME for growing, MP for growing. So again, biota intake calculator for growing, uh, ratio of uh, calcium to phosphorus for growing. So check, okay. Then the other biotype, gender, body weight, every day, decay, and other, other, other. So everything is correct. So we can go to a ration balance, okay? So if what we want in that diet, we want 20% corn, we want a 70% of a grass peg, the cost is four, six, three, six, right? Okay. And all the, 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 the parameters of the, of the diet are right here. And we're not going to discuss them because it looks like we have not much time left. And then we can actually go to list cost balancer. So let's see. So, so what we've done first is 4636. Six. Let's see what the, what the calculator will do. Okay, we're not going to change anything because we can change minimum and maximum also. Let's just go straight directly to calculator. And we have 4.6 and now we have 3.387. So the calculator did really good. And what we have actually is 90% of hay. It just happened that this hay is very similar. EDN is 58 and CP is 925. Similar to that, what we use in our example. But what you can see here that actually the grass hay is 92%, right? So it's more than what we have in that previous example. And why? Because up there, the diet was not really uh, very well calibrated in ME and MP intake. Therefore, having few ingredients, it allows us to actually decrease amount of concentrate that will be used, right? Okay, so uh, what we can do with this, let's say uh, we don't have that much hay, what we wanna say, uh, what we wanna say hay, right? Or we're gonna maybe use more concentrate. So what we're gonna do, we can set the limit. So the maximum percentage of grass hay will be 70%. And let's see what's happened. Now the cost, increase right to 3797 and then we let rebalance again 387 okay but okay what's happened we have some limitations so we if we get rid of this okay we have some limitation here uh, actually the peak that is less than two percent or two percent is it will stay so we have to remove those values in order to get estimate correct, to, to not set any limits. Okay, 387, yes. Okay, so uh, again, what this allow us, will allow us to do is to have the least cost ration. And uh, uh, this also allow us to change the a feed intake and uh, that is by diluting the, let's say, energy density, 
we might actually uh, it decrease the cost of the heat. Okay, for adult animals that need to gain weight, how do we choose the average daily gain value? So, okay, so adult animal, if, if, okay, so basically uh, what you do, you have to weigh the animal and see what the, what the gain is and you don't have input that, that value in there, right? Uh, so that's basically what it is. So for adult animals that need to gain weight, how do we choose? An average daily gain value. Okay, so this is a, a you either have to approximate, you put the value. So uh, in grams is 50 grams, or whatever. So then you put, and then the adjustment for energy and protein will be inserted into your total required. Okay, so I guess we will stop right now. I will stop with, with my presentation. Uh, maybe I did not provide as much information as I want to, but we already at one hour time. So let's see if we have any other questions. Oh. Okay. I, mean, I could ask one if how does corn compare to oats? Okay, so you have the you have, okay, so then we have to go back. Let's go back and all those values for energy and protein you have in the, in this calculator right here, right? So we go to professional, we go to supplemental. And then you have your corn. Right, the corn, 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 where is the corn? Uh, corn grain. So the, the, okay, so the first value total, so, okay. Uh, okay, so we know what, what to do. This value, corn, 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 when you have a corn grain, corn grain, corn. So it's 9% of protein and 87, so, so corn is quite high in energy or very high in energy and relatively low in uh, protein, right? Then we go to oats. Okay. So it's 13, it's higher in protein, but lower in energy, okay? So that basically is the difference. And concerning the uh, UIP, uh, here we have UIP 15 and the gradable protein and for corn, probably we will have the same value. No, this is okay. So you know what, for value for ruminant will be, uh, the corn actually will be better than oats, okay? Because is higher in energy, and higher in undigestible protein that bypass to the to the to the uh, uh, intestine and digestive. If Thank you. Want, you. If you want to, okay. Come. So you know. So okay. The 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 thing is, uh, what may be good and for doesn't matter for what kind of. We try to. Uh, our values for energy and protein are quite accurate. However, it's very hard to predict dry matter intake. And then observe how much animal, uh, how much, uh, uh, how much feed animal can eat. It's quite simple, right? Therefore, our calculators allow you to adjust for your. Uh, uh, calculate or estimated dry matter intake and put into calculate and that will decrease the energy density and at the same time will decrease uh, the uh, value for the for the concentrate need and decrease the uh, cost of the uh, of the diet so you know so i had the i had actually you know people from china that actually we've been discussing uh, and they said that their growth are growing like half a pound a day, okay, which is pretty impressive, but 
they the, the, the management system is pretty much like a, a feedlot. And uh, we've been actually adjusting uh, the value for intake because they said they can consume about four or more percent of body weight. Dry matter intake can be four percent of uh, uh, dry matter intake, which is quite incredible. But they told me they have those animals and they, 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 there is a market for, let's say, fast growing dogs. Okay, do we have any other questions? I don't see any other questions, okay. so. Okay, so I don't know, maybe, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, since this is recorded, we actually did two examples, one for supplemental, the other one for the uh, least uh, <coughs> cost ration. And uh, of course, I welcome uh, direct communication and if somebody needs, help explanation or maybe some guidance we'll be very happy to provide. Thank you very much. I don't know that much. I, I pretty much never work with the Kashmir goats. I know that you cannot feed. So, so it's always a very good idea to feed a Kashmir goat with, let's say, limited protein because that may increase the diameter of the Kashmir, okay? So, so, you know, so you can give them more energy, but you should be kind of strict on protein. Oh, sure, uh, or contact. <coughs> so for everyone, okay, I'm gonna type it. Excuse me, I have to drink some. Pushala <coughs> and plant some. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Dot TV, plant. That's the correct. The second one is correct. And of course, you know, I'll, I'll very much, you know, can help you with the, uh, with the calculation with anything concerning it. And this is a working program. And I said, maybe for some people that do not have access to internet, we have that portable version that is working exactly like this one. And you don't need to use any internet, of course. The system is available for smartphone, is available for tablet, is available for all the browser. We're trying to uh, root out all the kinks that, that are uh, in the program, but looks like everything is working pretty good right now. Okay. Great, well, with that, um, I wanna thank you very much for sharing your time and preparing all this uh, slides to share with us and um, doing a few examples with us. You could see from the chat, everybody's really excited to try this out from their herd. So again, I wanna really thank you for sharing your time with the Kashmir Goat Association and Litchfield County 4-H. Okay, thank you so much. Thank I you so much. Everybody have a good night and good morning in, in the Philippines. Okay, okay, thank you so much.